Today, I'm going to be setting up a new device, and this one is for the Fry Foundation, and this is an air quality sensor. This was just released, and I'm going to be walking you through the setup steps to get this up and running and start earning you the Fry token. So Fry is offering two different sensors. They have the indoor one, which is the one I have right here, and they also have an outdoor one. The indoor one that I have right over here, this one's going to monitor different types of pollutants and the levels of them, like CO2, PM, and VOCs. This is just one more area that Fry is expanding and gathering into. Uh, to add to their already well-diverse catalog of data. If you're looking at purchasing one of these sensors and getting involved in this area of Deepin, I'll include my coupon code, which is going to save you 35%, which is a nice chunk. Uh, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and install this device. Um, there's a few things that surprise me. It actually is a lot simpler than it first seems. You're going to have two different components. You're going to have the actual sensor itself, and then you're going to have this Wi-Fi gateway. Both of these are required to get connected once you have this up and running, the last step is to get the MAC address, and then you can paste that into your registration page, and then you're up and running. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's the sensor unpacked. It fits in the palm of your hand. Now, this device does come with a micro USB cable, which is fairly long, but there is solar panels, and it came with batteries to charge them. I don't know the battery life of this and how well it works, but that's something I'll be exploring. It's pretty straightforward. We're just going to go ahead and plug it in. Because I'm unsure of the battery life and how well the solar panel works, I'm going to have this plugged in and let it fully charge. And this is the Wi-Fi gateway unpacked. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. It did come with this USB cable. It extends it. It gives you an extra few feet to work with. So I have that plugged in and now we're ready to install the app. So we're at the Google Play Store. I'm going to be searching for the Ecowit app and it's this one right over here. We're going to go ahead and install it. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now, what you want to do is create an account. So if you don't have an account already, you want to go ahead and click on the register option over here. You're going to type in your email address and password, and then you can go ahead and sign in. Okay, once you're inside the app, you're going to go over here into the menu option, and then you have a section called My Devices. You're going to select My Devices, and then down here at the bottom, we have the option to add a new device. And what we want to do is select the gateway option over here in the center. So we'll go ahead and tap on that, and we can do Wi-Fi provisioning. So I'll tap on Wi-Fi provisioning, and then you want to make sure that your gateway is plugged in and we're going to go into our settings to find it. You can see that we have the GW1 and it has a bunch of letters. So this is the one that we want to select. One thing I did notice is I had to turn off my mobile data. Uh, I'm not sure why, but that was causing some issues. Uh, that's just a quick note. So you can see it's connecting to the gateway. It wants to know my precise location, which is fine with me. I'll select that and then we can tap on confirm. Next, we're going to be connecting to our local Wi-Fi. In this list, I'm going to be selecting my home Wi-Fi and I'll click on confirm and I'm going to be typing in my password and then submit. All right, so we have the gateway now selected and we have a bunch of data that came up. Uh, so you have the indoor, outdoor temperature. Uh, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see our sensor. So here's our sensor down here at the bottom. It lets me know the air quality that I have. It's rating it as an eight. It's letting me know that the sensor array is normal. So the status is good. And then I also have a full battery. Now, if you want to check this a little bit further, you can go up here into the menu at the top and then go to sensor ID. Inside the sensor ID, it lists all the gateways that you can connect to. And you can see that we have the one over here, which is labeled D4. This is our gateway that we have registered right now. We can see that we have the symbol for power, and we also have one for reception, which is full. So everything looks great with the sensor. Go back over here to the main window. Now to register this device with the Fry Foundation, you're gonna need the MAC address. And to find that, you can click on the menu up here at the top, select My Devices. The three dotted menu in the top right hand corner is what we're going to select. And then right over here, we get all the gateway details. And up here at the top, you can see there is the MAC address. That's the MAC address that we're going to need when we register the device. It might look a little intimidating if you haven't worked with any of these sensors before, but it is pretty straightforward once you have the app up and running. The registration process might take a little bit of time. They've expanded a lot. There's a lot of hype around Fry right now. I know for the last couple of D-PIN devices that I set up, it took almost a week to get it up and start earning rewards. So maybe expect that if you're uh, diving into this one. The earnings behind it, the multiplier is in effect, but we are below one cent. When we go over one cent, the multiplier reduces. That means your earnings drop. This is in discussion to change, but right now for an unverified miner, you're gonna earn 107.86 fry. And for a verified miner, you're gonna earn 323.58 fry per day. The ROI on these devices is usually about three to four months. It's three to four months, if you're gonna be selling your fry and then you'll be able to recoup your investment. Uh, that has been sped up as a price went above one cent, 
but then the rewards get reduced. So it's like a little bit of a delicate balance. The cost of the sensor is $350. If you use the coupon code that I put down below, you're going to save yourself 35%. And in this case, that's going to be $122.50. So that's significant. Definitely look for the code in the description below. I had gathered a lot of your questions and I've submitted it to Fry. I think I have about 15 or 20 questions about people wondering what's going on with the Fry Foundation, where they're going, where the rewards are, and I'm hoping to get a lot more clarification because I had a lot of those questions myself. So as soon as they respond, I'll make a separate video and I'll lay them all out and hopefully that will resolve a lot of questions that you might have. I hope you found the video useful. Please smash the like, it helps me grow. Thank you for watching, catch you in the next one.